Right. Hello everyone. This is the second part of on group frequency table. Now if you watch the first video, this is the part where that was covered. Right? We have statistics. The example we were going we are, we will be solving how to get column 1, how to get column 2, column 3, column 4, column 5, column 6, the place value. Now let's continue. In this problem, what we want to find, it says now that we have the ungrouped frequency table, we want to find the three measures of central tendency and the three measures of central tendency is the main median mode the range three measures of dispersion lower quartile q1 middle quartile q2 and upper quartile q3 also we want to find what is the interquartile range and the semi interquartile range and this is the table that we constructed from the previous video how do we find the mean the mean is x bar which is summation of fx this here divided by the summation of f which is this here it says at the bottom of column 4 you have summation of fx which is 178 and at the bottom of column 3 you have summation of f which is 38 so 178 minus 38 gives me 4.684210523 which equals to approximately 4.68 two decimal place so two decimal place that is after the decimal 1 2 that's the 8 here and then it remains as 8 because this the number that follows is less than 5. If the number was 5 or greater, you add 1 to the 8, which would have made it 9. But in this case, it remains as 8. The median from small set of data we, we found that there were two methods and I said that the method one was good to use or best to use with small set of data and method two was best to use whenever you had a table. So here we have a table. The median is n plus one divided by two. What is n? That's 38 divided by 2, 38 plus 1 divided by 2 gives me 39 divided by 2 gives me 19.5 which is the 19th number take the whole number 19 and then plus 1, 19 plus 1 gives me the 28th number now you will always have two numbers when your answer is a decimal if it's a whole number then it's just one number if it's 19 then it is just 19 and it's one number so whenever you have two numbers you find the average of those two numbers what is the 19 place go to your place value 19 is here and it corresponds to the grade 5 the next number is your 20th number. 20th number is still here and it corresponds to 5. So 5 plus 5 divided by 2 
that is 5. All right? Also notice that n is the summation of f. Make sure you guys fix this. It's not the summation of fx, but it is the summation of f. Not this one here, but this one here. This x does not belong there. Your mode is going to be mode is the most frequent, largest number under the frequency. The largest number under the frequency is 6, and it appears two times. 6, that is 6, but correspond to 3 and 5. So what you do is for the frequency, find the largest number. It is 6. The largest number is 6, but it appears two times. 6 here and 6 here. Because it is two numbers, then we just find what it is that grid. That is a 3 and that is a 5. And that's how we get that the mode is a 3 and a 5. The range, very easy. Largest answer minus smallest answer. That is a 9 minus 1, 8. Very easy, this one. Largest, 9 minus smallest 1. That is 8. Now we're moving to the measures of dispersion. That is Q1. I always remember that Q1 is quartile 1. And quartile 1 or quartile, if you if you know what's a quarter, it is one fourth. So it is one fourth. The lower quartile, which is one fourth. So that's one fourth n plus one. N in this case is thirty-eight. And again, do not omit this x, it is summation of f. That's 38. So 38 plus 1, that's 39. 39 times 1 gives me 39. Divided by 4, that's 9.75. We get an answer of a decimal. So that's the ninth number. Right, the whole number. Ninth. And then plus 1, that's tenth number. Ninth and tenth, the ninth number corresponds to three, and the tenth number, nine tenth, right? So the tenth number also corresponds to three. So the average of those two numbers, nine, three plus three, sorry, three plus three divided by two, that is. 3. Q2, Q2 is the median and we have already found the median or the middle quartile. Sorry about that. The middle quartile is also known as the median and if you go back and you find what is the median or you take a look at the answer for the median, it is this exact same working. That is n plus 1 divided by 2. And then this is divided by 2 because it is the half number. One fourth number for Q1. Half for Q2. And then Q3 would be 3 fourths. So n plus 1, 38 plus 1. That is 39 divided by 2. 19.5. That's the 19th number. 20th number, 19th and 20th number are the same number, 5, so the average for 5 and 5 is 5, Q2. Q3, again, you heard me say it is the 3 fourths, so 3 fourths, n plus 1, 
that's 38 plus 1 39 times 3 divided by 4 that is going to be 29.25 that's the 29th number plus 1 38th number 29th number is right here that corresponds to a 6 the 30th number is right here that corresponds to a 7 so 6 plus 7 divided by 2 that is 6.5 right so it doesn't necessarily have to be the, the two numbers be the same it doesn't necessarily have to be 6 and 6 but it could be a 6 and a 7 and you get 6.5 if you get a 6 and a 6 it's alright if you get a 7 and a 7 it's alright but it has to correspond to what this tells you the next one is the interquartile range that is Q3 minus Q1 that is 6.5 minus 3 that gives me 3.5 okay, very easy semi interquartile range semi means half so that means it's only half of the answer that you got previously which is 3.5 so q3 minus q1 over 2 6.5 minus 3 that's 3.5 divided by 2 that's 1.75 all right so we found everything and now if you notice what I have for you is just some formulas that we used so you guys can either print or or copy down and then use it whenever you need to solve the mean equals to the summation of fx divided by the summation of f median it is n plus 1 divided by 2 notice that the median is the same thing as the middle quartile half n plus 1 two of them are the same answer so if you get different answer for the median and q2 there is something wrong with the working range largest entry minus the smallest entry quarter one one fourth n plus one quarter two one half n plus one quarter three three fourths n plus one and then interquartile that q3 minus q1 and the semi interquartile that's q3 minus q1 divided by 2. i hope this helps for you guys to finish your work and please submit as soon as possible see you for the next video